Well, good morning, family, and welcome to our online prayer this morning. Welcome to everybody in the building. Welcome to the Dream Team. Welcome to the SBI students. Welcome to our online audience via YouTube this morning. We're so glad to have you connected with us once again. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice. And be glad in it. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, on behalf of Apostle Nikki and Apostle Lynn, they send their love to every single person who's connected on this online prayer today, everybody in the building. And uh, as usual, we're going to come together. We're going to seek the Lord. We're going to pray for this half an hour. Uh, thank you once again for all the amazing people that connect every day, every morning, even the new people that are going to connect today. Thank you once again for joining uh, in with us. Maybe you can share the feed with us uh, this morning on YouTube. We believe that people are connecting uh, every day. Uh, new people are connecting to this, and you are uh, really the vehicle that God is going to use uh, to allow more people to encounter the presence of God, not only on a Sunday, but during the week as well. So I know we're really greeting one another in the, in the building, and we're going to get straight into this morning's time of prayer because I believe God's going to do something in our lives today, like every morning when we come. Uh, you know, we give Him the best part of our day. We seek Him early in the morning, and and uh, I know your day will be blessed. Your day, the rest of your time, the rest of your meetings, the rest of what you're going to do uh, for this day and for this week is blessed in Jesus' name. I just want to welcome a few people if we can online. We have Chioma that's online. Ruby, thank you for uh, connecting. Uh, we have Dawn uh, that's connected faithfully. Jennifer connecting faithfully once again. Uh, Lita, uh, Michelle. Uh, Ruby, I've mentioned, uh, Karen, Deliwe, we've got so many people, Helen, uh, and the list goes on. Thank you once again, Cinder, uh, Ronique has joined us this morning. God bless you. Thank you for connecting with us. Well, praise God. I want you just to make, uh, we're going to take a few moments just to do a, few, a bit of a teaching, and then we're going to get straight into our prayer for this morning. I'm going to just be reading, and it'll be on the screens as well, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Hallelujah. We know the scripture well, right? And uh, I want to read uh, specifically from the Good News Translation um, because it really blessed me when I read this. Um, it says here, I alone know the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you prosperity. What does it say? Prosperity. There's no mixing around the words there. The Lord says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to give you prosperity, and not disaster, plans to bring about the future you hope for. So what are you hoping for today? It says, then you will call to me, you will come and pray to me, and I will answer you. Come on, we need that assurance today. You will come to me, you will call upon me, and I will answer you. That's the promise of the Lord to us today. Verse 13, you will seek me and you will find me because you will seek me with all your heart. And in verse 14, interesting, whenever the Lord repeats something, I really believe that he's serious about this thing. It says in verse 14, yes, I say you will find me and I will restore you to your land. There's so much wrapped up in this uh, passage of Scripture. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. It's our kind of go-to Scripture. You know, if we, if we want to encourage someone, we say, I know the plans that the Lord has for you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And uh, when we lose hope, we need to understand that all along, God, before the foundation of this world, has plans already drawn up for your life. He has plans drawn up for my life. But where my part comes in is that I need to pray through those plans to manifest. I want to draw an example. I have plans of our building. We're also going to pray for that this morning. These are plans for our new building that's going to go up in record time in Jesus' name. These plans have been drawn up. But today we're looking at some of the plans, we're reviewing some of the plans, and we're going to make changes to those plans, and it's going to be perfect, it's going to be in line with how God sees it, amen? And uh, so sometimes in our lives, and, and the Lord showed me this today, even as I was preparing, is the Lord says, I know the plans that I have for you. It's already settled, and it's already drawn up. What are those plans? To give you a hope and to give you a future, plans of prosperity, not of disasters. That's what it says. But it's amazing how many times that the enemy also comes and lies to us about those same plans. He will deceive us about the plans that have already been established, that have already been approved by God, and have already been applied to our lives and for our future. And so when we listen to the lies of the enemy, 
when we allow deception, when we allow deceit, when we allow anything, what will happen? The enemy will try and come and uh, change the plans that God has for us. He will try and think that God doesn't have any plans for us. He will try and make us think that we do not have a hope and a future. He will try and say there's no hope in this country. But we know the plans that the Lord has for us. As long as I am in South Africa, as long as you are Apostle Nikki, Apostle Lillian, there is hope for South Africa in Jesus' name. Why? Because we are here. I firmly believe that because you are placed, even people watching online, God has placed you to strategically, not by accident in your company. God has placed you in that environment to be the light and to be the salt. God is not confused when he placed you in environments. Some of you are saying, man, I'm in an environment where they just swear, man, there's no godly people around me. Exactly. God has placed you in that environment to be the salt and to be the light. And people look up to you and say, you know what, when they're going through the biggest trials and the biggest situation in their life, you know what, they realize uh, they're going to come to you and say, I know the God that you serve. Can you pray for me? And I believe God's going to give us opportunities in this day. There's people that are walking around restless, without peace, without hope, without joy, without love, without anything of God, because they do not know God. And I want to reaffirm today, I want to say to NBCSC, God knows the plans that he has for us. God ha knows the plans. God knows the plans to establish our building in Jesus' name. God knows the plans of, uh, upon all the covering pastors, all the pastors connected with NBCSC. God knows the plans that he has for every member. And so today what we can do is we can pray and say, you know what, I'm praying through the perfect will of God in my life. I'm praying through his perfect plans for my life. Lord, that they will manifest in Jesus' name. That I'm not going to walk around in doubt and walk around the mountain and say, you know what, maybe the, uh, I'm confused. I don't know where I'm going. There's going to come an assurance. There's going to come a clarity upon knowing what God has for you and what he has planned for your life in Jesus' name. I want us to stand right now. We're just going to worship the Lord. And then we're going to go into a time of prayer and just uh, pushing in in the presence of God. And I want us to know, you know what, even we're going to say, Lord, I know the plans you have for me. And some of us need to allow hope to rise once again. You know what, the Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. And I believe hope is going to be restored in this place today. That you're going to be assured that the plans that the Lord has for you is to bring you into a place of prosperity in Jesus' name. Not of lack, not of insufficiency. And that's what the Lord has saying for your family. That's not just what anybody has written. That's what the Lord is saying for you today in this building in Jesus' name. Let's, let's worship the Lord. Let's worship Him. We worship you. We worship you. Up your hands in this place. I see the Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. Exalted upon the worship of the people of the earth. I see.
Let's just start praying in the spirit right now. Every person, let's just pray in the spirit. Shedia tedia khodriyate. Just start praying. Shedia tedia khodriya khandriyate ya hadriyate. Shedia tedia khodriya khandriyate dite. Shedia khandriyate ya hadriyate. Come on, even as you're praying today, you're edifying yourself. You're building yourself up. Shedia tedia tedia khandriyate ya khodriya tidite. Shedia tedia tedia khandriyate. Lord, we seek you today. Lord, we seek you today. Lord, we cry out to you today. Shendi ya tata ye hendi ya khodri ya ha. Ki de de ya tote ye de de ya khandri te ye te. Shendi ya tote ye te ya khandri ya te ye te ye te. Just cry out to the name of the Lord today. Shendi ya tata ye hendi ya ha. Shendi ya te te ya khodri ya khandri te. Shendi ya te te ya khandri ya te ye te. Shendi ya te te ye hendi ya te ya tori ya ha. Shendi ya tote ya khandri ya te. Shende ya te de te de handere ya te shende ya hende ya ha ki e de ya to de ya handere ya te ya te shende ya ho de ya ti de ya te ya ha ki e de ya ta de sra ta sra to speak praying shende ya handere ya ha ki e de ya ho to de ya ti ya te ya te ya te de shende ya handere ya ha ki e de ya ho de ya ha te ki e de ya te de ya de ya handere ya te shende ya to to ye he de ya ha ki Shendi ya toto ya handeri ya tiri ya te. Shendi ya tiri ya tiri ya tiri ya tiri ya te. Shendi ya hodi ya ha. Ki ya di ya handeri ya te. Ki ya di ya handeri ya tiri ya te. Shendi ya hodi ya ha. Ki ya di ya hodi ya tiri ya te. Shendi ya handeri ya tiri ya te. Shi ya toto te ya tiri ya tiri ya tiri ya te. Ki ya di ya toto ya he te. Shi ya toto ya he ti ya ta. Ki ya di ya hodi ya tiri ya. te shia to to ye ti ya ta ta ye he shia ta ta ye ti ya to to ye te ki ya to to ye handari ya te ya te shia to to ye di ya ta ki ye ti ya ho to ya handari te shia to to ye he ti ya to ri ya te te shia to ri ya handari ya te ki ya to 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 ya handi te ki ya to to ye ti ya ta ri ya handari ya te shia ta ri ya handari ya te ye te shia to ri ya handari ya te ri te shi ya to to ya handari ya te ri ya te ri te shi ya to ri ya handari ya te ri te ki ya da ri ya ti ya di ya te ri he ki ya to to ya handari ya te shi ya da ri ya handari ya te shi ya da da ya handi ya te ri ya he shi ya da ri ya handari ya ha ki ya da ri ya ho da ri ya te hi ya da da ya he te ya te te ya te ya ha shi ya da da ya he te ya te shi ya da da ya he te te ki ya to to ya handari ya te ri te we praise you jesus ya te ri ha ki ya di ya handari ya te ri te ki ya to to ya te ri ya te ri ya te ri te shi ya to ri ya handari ya te ri te shi ya da ri ya handari ya te shi ya to ri ya te ri ya te ri te lord even as moses cried lord show us your glory open our eyes lord jesus open our eyes lord jesus that we may see you that we may see you high and lifted up lord may we see your train full the temple lord we worship you today in spirit and in truth lord we cry out upon your name whoever calls on the name of the lord shall be saved and lord we cry out as your people we cry out with one voice we cry out in unity today lord we thank you lord that the effect of fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much and i thank you lord today lord as we pray if fervently as we pray effectively i thank you lord that much is being Made available in the realm of the spirit in Jesus' name. Shende ya tata ye, ki ya do do ya tere ya tere ya ha te, shi ya tere ya ha tere te, sho do do ya tere ya tere ya ti ya tere ya te, ki ya tere ya ha tere te, shi ya tata ya tere ya do do ya ti ya tere ya te, ke ya do do ya tere ya ti ya tere ya tere ya te. Come on, there's power when we pray in the spirit. There's power when we pray in the spirit. Shende ya, ki ya tere ya tere ya ti ya tere ya te. She a tori a tori a tiri a ti a ki a tori a tiri a ti a tiri a tiri a te. She a tori a tiri a tiri a tiri a te. Some things have been unlocked today. Think some things have been unlocked today in the realm of the spirit. Some things that have been as a blockage, Lord. Things that have stood in our way, Lord, today have been removed in Jesus' name. 
Shende ya tada ye di ya tadi ya tadi ye the. Shi ya tada ye di ya tadi ya tende. Shi ya tada ye di ya tadi ya handi ya the. Shende ya tada ya tadi ya tadi ye thi ya tadi ya. Ki ya tadi ya tadi ye thi ya tadi ya. Shende ya tadi ya tadi ye ende. Ki ya tadi ya tadi ye thi ya tadi ya tadi ya tadi ya the. Shi ya tada ye di ya tadi ye the. Ki ya tadi ya tadi ye ende. We praise you, Lord. Today, I want to read one scripture. It's found in Psalms chapter 33, verse 11. It says, "As the plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of His heart through all generations." And even as we are praying right now, even as Apostle Nikki prayed on Sunday. I believe there's people that are watching. There's people in this building. You're saying, Lord, even upon my business, Lord, I've seen a blockage. I've seen a flow that has been blocked. I believe God is opening up the wells once again. God is opening up the stream. God is opening up the flow of finances, of business to come into 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 your company in Jesus' name. Where there's been things that have been put strategically by the enemy in your way. Today, the Lord says, I'm removing those things in Jesus' name. I'm removing every blockage. I'm removing every hindrance. I'm removing things that have stolen from your joy. I'm removing things that have taken your hope away. Today, let hope be restored in Jesus' name. The Lord says, "I know the plans that I have for you." The Lord says, "It's already settled. Nothing will stop my plans. My calling upon your life is without repentance." And right now, I release that anointing to touch every person in this building, Lord, that we will walk with a certainty. Lord, we will walk with assurance, knowing that the Lord has our Back, no, Lord, knowing that the Lord leads us, that He guides us, that nothing shall deter from His plans, that He has already established over our lives. In Jesus' name, we thank You, Lord, that we shall declare a thing, and it shall be established in Jesus' name. So we declare this today, Lord, that Your prosperity is upon our lives, that Your prosperity is upon NBCSC, Lord, that Your prosperity is upon every son and daughter, Lord, upon every kingdom business, and Lord, upon every covering pastor, Lord, Your Prosperity is upon our building project in Jesus' name. Shende ya ta ta ya ti ya ta ya ti ya ti. Shende ya ta ta ya ti ya ti ya ti. Shi ya ta ta ya hendi ya ha ti ya ti. Shi ya ta ta ya hendi ya ti ya ti ya ti. Ki ya tu ya ti ya ti ya ti ya ha. Ki ya ti ya ti ti hendi ya ha. He ya ti ya ti ya ti ya ti. Come on, a new level of boldness is coming upon you, some of you today, to take back what belongs to you. The enemy has stolen. The enemy has Stolen far too long, and today I believe restoration is coming. Restoration of land, respira- restoration of prosperity, restoration of health is coming upon your body in Jesus' name. No longer do you need to walk around with that sickness. I command sickness be removed from your bodies in Jesus' name. Come on, angels are dispatched right now. Even angels are bringing through miracles. Angels are bringing through breakthroughs right now. God's plans, God's plans are greater than every disappointment that you face. God's plans are greater than anything that you're going through right now. God's plans overrides everything that you're facing right now. Let the plans of God prevail in our lives, Lord. May we see the manifestation, Lord, even upon NBCFC, Lord. We thank you for every word that's gone out from every man of God, from Apostle Nikki, from Prophet Lillian. We thank you, Lord, that word shall not return void, but it shall accomplish that for which it has been sent. We thank you, Lord, today. Every word that is spoken upon this house, every word that is spoken upon the building project, Lord.
Lord, we see a manifestation in the, in the realm today in the realm of the Spirit. We see a manifestation in Jesus' name. We see a manifestation being poured out upon every kingdom business today. Lord, we know that the kingdom businesses, every son and daughter in this house, every person, Lord, who has a, has a calling upon this house, a calling to the vision. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're beginning to prosper us like we've never seen before. Lord, we thank you, Lord, in our own businesses, in our industries. Lord, that we shall take the market share. Lord, that we shall be the prominent business in our industry. Lord, that you will cause us to rise to the top. Lord, that we are above and we're not beneath. Lord, that we first and we're not last. Hey, even as we declare the same thing, Lord, upon Apostle Nicky and Apostle Lillian and upon the Van and household, Lord, we release the blessing and prosperity of God to rest upon them in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that they're blessed coming in, that they're blessed going out, that they're blessed in the city, that they're blessed in the country, that they're blessed in their needing bowl, Lord, that they're blessed in every bank account, Lord, they're blessed in their properties, that your blessing is upon their lives. And Lord, I thank you as the head goes, so goes the rest of the body. I thank you, Lord, today, even as this house is dead free, I thank you, Lord, upon every member, upon every son and daughter, Lord, that, that we will operate in a realm of being dead free in Jesus' name. We, we, we apply that to every family in Jesus' name. Lord, we even thank you for the goodness upon Apostle Nicky as he celebrated his birthday yesterday. We thank you, Lord, with long life that you will satisfy him. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that he will walk in divine health all his life in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the calling that you placed him within. Thank you, Lord, that you've called him even not just for this house, but you called him for the nations, an apostle to the nations, Lord, that he will speak a word, Lord, that will bring healing, that will bring deliverance, that will bring salvation, Lord, to peoples, to millions of people across the world. I thank you, Lord. Let that voice not be silent. Lord, let no person attempt to silence the voice that you place with inside of him. Lord, it will rise up with a boldness. It will rise up with a clarity when the world operates with uncertainty. Yet, Lord, you've appointed men of God, such as Apostle Nicky, Lord, to stand up and to have a sure trumpet sound. Lord, when we hear that sound, Lord, we will know what to do. And I thank you, Lord, and Lord, that you will increase the grace upon his life. Lord, that he will be strengthened in his inner man. Lord, that you will just cause him, even right now, to be able to run faster, to be able to run further. Lord, that your calling is upon his life in a greater and a mighty uh, dimension in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for the gift that he is to NBCLC. We thank you, Lord, for the gift that he is to the body of Christ. I want us to take a few minutes just right now just to pray for our building project. And maybe you can put the, uh, the images on the screen. But even as I showed you the plans, I believe that the plans shall not be withheld in Jesus' name, that they will go forth speedily that we shall see an acceleration coming upon those plans in Jesus' name. I believe that we have favor with man, even as we have favor with God, that when the plans are submitted to counsel, we believe that from the first version, they will be approved in Jesus' name. I believe that the house of God shall go up in record time. I believe that we have the 200 million in Jesus' name to complete the house of God. I believe that God is prospering NBCFC. God is prospering every partner. God is prospering every son and daughter, that we will see and God will get the glory for the house of God being built and established in an area. We thank you, Lord, that this house shall be filled to capacity every service. We thank you, Lord. We call forth our community. We call forth Johannesburg to be saved. We call forth Boxburg to be saved. Lord, that this house will stand as a shining beacon. It will stand, Lord, as a shining lighthouse. Lord, that no one will be able to miss it. No one will be able to turn away because, Lord, they will feel a calling to the house of God. 
Lord, they will say, I just need to get inside there. I just need to get to church. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, this, this house will stand as a testimony of your goodness, Lord. It will stand as a testimony of what you've done. So Lord, we declare, Lord, even as you've approved the plans, we thank you, Lord, these are plans shall be approved by council. These plans shall be approved by, Lord, the, the, the forces that need to approve it. And we thank you, Lord, today, Lord, that your perfect will be done. I thank you, Lord, today. Give us clarity. Give us understanding. Lord, give us uh, understanding, Lord, in what we need to do. In Jesus' name. Shende, I just pray for a few minutes. I just feel we need to pray for the breakthrough, even upon our building project, even upon the plans in Jesus' name. Shende, Even online, maybe you can just type in there saying, Lord, your plan shall prevail in my life. Lord, your plan shall prevail in my life. Lord, your plan shall prevail in my business. Lord, your plan shall prevail in my family. Lord, your plan shall prevail in my body. In Jesus' name, your plan shall prevail in my finances. Lord, your plan shall maybe be made manifest. Lord, in every area of my life. In Jesus' name. Shende ya ta ta ye ti ya ti di te. He ya to ti ye ti ya ti ya ha ti di te. Shi ya ta di ya ti. Even as we go into a time of communion, and I know at home you preparing and at your business and even in the auditorium. This scripture really just to wrap up everything we've been praying for today and I really um, brought really some clarity around understanding how the Lord operates. And it's, it's in John chapter 13, verse 7. Just listen uh, for now. It says, Jesus replied, you don't understand what I'm doing, but someday you will. Sometimes we, we don't understand what God is doing, but I believe God is making it clear in Jesus' name. There's things that He reserves for those who seek Him. It's like He doesn't hide things away from us. He hides things for us, that we will discover those things, that we will discover His purpose, that it's, it's hidden from the enemy so that we can discover it for ourselves. And those are the secrets, those are the divine mysteries that God has reserved for us, His children. So today I believe God's going to start unwrapping some of those mysteries, some of those secrets. That you're going to prosper in business, that you're going to see the prosperity of God upon your business in Jesus' name. Where you've walked around and you, you do, not, do not understand what God is doing, I believe God is going to reveal that to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to partake. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done at the cross for us. We thank you, Lord, for the finished work of the cross. Even as we partake of the bread today that signifies your body that was broken. I declare every limitation is broken over our lives. We thank you for victory today because of the cross. It's, it's because of what you've done for us that we live and we move and we have our being. And today we, we rejoice uh, in the fact that our names are written in the land's book of life. We rejoice that we are redeemed. We rejoice with that we are forgiven. We rejoice today that we are healthy in Jesus' name. I declare every person watching online, every person in this building, I declare let healing manifest upon your body in Jesus' name. It was done 2,000 years ago. All you have to do is take it and apply it into your life in Jesus' name. Apply it to your body. Even as you ingest this bread, I believe the healing power of God is going to touch your body in Jesus' name.
the same way, we're going to take the cup. And really, whenever I hold a cup in my hand, I just see access. I just see the doors wide open. I just see me allowed to go in. Regardless of what I'm facing, the Lord says, come to me with boldness. And we can come to right and we can sit at his feet today. And today we thank you for access that we have through the blood. Thank you that my sins are forgiven. Thank you, Lord, that I am righteous in Jesus' name. Partake of the cup. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Thank you so much for everyone online for tuning in again this morning. I remember to join us uh, this Sunday, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 5 p.m. for a powerful time at NBCFC. Thank you for joining us once again. Thank you for joining us this week. On behalf of Apostle Nikki and Apostle, and I send their love to you. God bless. Have an awesome day, family.